cytokines. The topic of discussion here is cytokines. To learn about cytokines and its role in immunology, it is very much necessary to get accustomed with the term. So, let us look upon first to the concept of cytokines and from where it came. Cytokines are low molecular weight regulatory proteins or glycoproteins secreted by white blood cells and various other cells in the body in response to a number of stimuli. These proteins assist in regulating the development of immune effector cells and some cytokines possess direct effector function of their own. Cytokines originated from the Greek word cyto meaning cell and kinos meaning movement are a broad and loose category of small proteins approximately 5 to 20 kilodaltons that are important in cell signaling. They are released by cells and affect the behavior of other cells and sometimes the releasing cell itself. Cytokines include chemokines, interferons, interleukins, lymphokines, tumor necrosis factor, but generally not hormones or growth factors. Cytokines are produced by a broad range of cells including immune cells like macrophages, beta lymphocytes, T lymphocytes and mast cells, endothelial cells, fibroblast and various stromal cells. A given cytokine may be produced by more than one type of cell. Let us see at the history. Interferon alpha and interferon type 1 was identified in the year 1957 as a protein that interfered with viral replication. The activity of interferon gamma, the sole member of the interferon type 2 class, was described in 1965. This was the first identified lymphocyte derived mediator. Macrophage migration inhibitory factor that is abbreviated as MIF was identified simultaneously in 1966 by John David and Barry Bloom. In 1969, Judley Dumont proposed the term lymphokine to describe proteins secreted from lymphocytes and later proteins derived from macrophages and monocytes in culture were called monokines. As scientists learned more, it was understood that these proteins and others were part of a broader class of proteins involved in self-defense and should be called cytokines. Let us have a look at nomenclature of cytokines. Cytokines have been classed as lymphokines, interleukins and chemokines based on their presumed function, cell of secretion or target of action. Because cytokines are characterized by considerable redundancy and pleiotropism, such distinctions allowing for exceptions are absolute. The term interleukin was initially used by researchers for those cytokines whose presumed targets are principally leukocytes. It is now used largely for designation of newer cytokine molecules discovered every day and bears little relation to these presumed function. The vast majority of these are produced by T helper cells. Lymphokines produced by lymphocytes, monokines produced exclusively by monocytes, interferons involved in antiviral responses, colony stimulating factor support the growth of cells in semi-solid media. Chemokines mediated chemo attraction that is chemotaxis between the cells. Let us have a look at the differences between cytokines and hormones. Classical hormones circulate in nanomolar that is 10 to the power minus 9 molar concentrations that usually vary by less than one order of magnitude. In contrast, some cytokines such as interleukin 6 circulate in picomolar that is 10 to the power minus 12 molar concentrations that can increase up to 1000 fold during trauma or infection. The widespread distribution of cellular sources for cytokines may be a feature 
that differentiates them from hormones. Virtually all nucleated cells but especially endo or epithelial cells and resident macrophages many near the interface with the external environment are potent producers of interleukin 1, 6 and tumor necrosis factor alpha. In contrast classic hormones such as insulin are secreted from discrete glands for example the pancreas. As of 2008 the current terminology refers to cytokines as immunomodulating agents. However, more research is needed in the area of defining cytokines and hormones. Part of the difficulty with distinguishing cytokines from hormones is that some of the immunomodulating effects of cytokines are systemic rather than local. For instance, to use hormones terminology, the action of cytokines may be autocrine or paracrine in chemotaxis or chemokinesis and endocrine as a pyrogen. Further, as molecules, cytokines are not limited to their immunomodulatory role only. Cytokines belong to four structural families. Once the genes encoding various cytokines had been cloned, sufficient quantities of purified preparations become available for detailed studies on their structure and function. Cytokines generally have a molecular mass of less than 30 kilodaltons. Structural studies have shown that the cytokines characterized so far belong to one of four groups, the hematopoietin family, the interferon family, the chemokine family or the tumor necrosis factor family. Although the amino acid sequences of these family members differ considerably, all of them have a high degree of alpha helical structure and little or no beta sheet structure. The molecules share a similar polypeptide fold with four alpha helical regions in which the first and second helices and the third and fourth helices run roughly parallel to one another and are connected by loops. Let us understand the properties of cytokines. Cytokines bind to specific receptors on the membrane of target cells triggering single transduction pathways that ultimately alter gene expressions in the target cells. The susceptibility of the target cell to a particular cytokine is determined by the presence of specific membrane receptors. The susceptibility of the target cell to a particular cytokine is determined by the presence of specific membrane receptors. In general, the cytokines and their receptors exhibit very high affinity for each other with dissociation constants ranging from 10 to 10 to 10 to 12 meters. Because their affinities are so high, cytokines can mediate biological effects at picomolar concentrations. A particular cytokine may bind to receptors on the membrane of the same cell that secreted it, excreting autocrine action. It may bind to receptors on a target cell in close proximity to the producer cell, extending paracrine action in a few cases it may bind to target cells in distant parts of body exerting endocrine action. Cytokines regulate the intensity and duration of the immune response by stimulating or inhibiting the activation, proliferation and or differentiation of various cells and by regulating the secretion of antibodies or other cytokines. Cytokines exhibit the attributes of pleiotropy, redundancy, synergy, antagonism and cascade induction which permit them to regulate cellular activity in a coordinated interactive way. A given cytokine that had different biological effects on different target cells has a pleiotropic action. Two or more cytokines that mediate Similar functions are said to be redundant. Redundancy makes it difficult to ascribe 
a particular activity to a single cytokine. Let us now have a look at biological functions of cytokines. Cytokines are involved in a staggeringly broad array of biological activities including innate immunity, adaptive immunity, inflammation and hematopoiesis. Interleukin 2 is related with proliferation, enhancement of cytotoxicity, INF, gamma secretion and antibody production. Interleukin 1 alpha and interleukin 1 beta are involved in inflammatory, promotes activation, constimulation and secretion of cytokines and other acute phase proteins pyrogenic. Interleukin 3 is involved in differentiation and survival of lymphoid and myeloid compartments. Interleukin 4 is involved in proliferation, differentiation of Th2, promotes immunoglobulin G and immunoglobulin E production, inhibits cell mediated immunity and Th17 development. Interleukin 5 is involved in proliferation and activation, hallmark of Th2 effector cells. Interleukin 6 is involved in inflammatory and constimulatory action, induces proliferation and differentiation, synergizes with TGFB to drive Th17. Interleukin 7 is associated with homeostasis, differentiation and survival. Interleukin 9 is involved in proliferation, promotes Th2 cytokine secretion. Interleukin 10 is related with immune suppression, decreases antigen presentation and MHC class 2 expression of dendritic cells, down regulates pathogenic Th1, Th2 and Th17 responses. TNF alpha is associated with inflammatory promotes activation and production of acute phase proteins. LT alpha is involved and promotes activation and cytotoxicity, development of lymph nodes and Peyer's patches. GCSF is involved in differentiation and activation of granulocytes. GMCSF is associated with inflammatory action, induction of activation, differentiation, growth and survival. IFN alpha, IFN beta and IFN omega promotes resistance to viral pathogens, promotes increased expression of MHC class 1. FN gamma promotes activation of APCs and cell mediated immunity, increased MHC class 2 expression. Let us now have a look at cytokine receptors. As noted already, to exert their biological effects, cytokines must first bind to specific receptors expressed on the membrane of responsive target cells. Because these receptors are expressed by many types of cells, the cytokines can affect a diverse array of cells. Biochemical characterization of cytokine receptors initially progressed at a very slow pace because their levels on the membrane of responsive cells is quite low. As with the cytokines themselves, cloning of the genes encoding cytokine receptors has led to rapid advances in the identification and characterization of these receptors. Families of cytokine receptors. Receptors for the various cytokines are quite diverse structurally, but almost all belong to one of five families of receptor proteins. Immunoglobulin superfamily receptors. Class 1 cytokine receptor family, also known as the hematopoietin receptor family. Class 2 cytokine receptor family, also known as the interferon receptor family. TNF receptor family, chemokine receptor family. Let us now see the mechanism. Many of the cytokine binding receptors that function in the immune and hematopoietic systems belong to the class 1 cytokine receptor family. The members of this receptor family 
have conserved amino acid sequence motifs in the extracellular domain consisting of four positionally conserved cysteine residues and a conserved sequence of tryptophan serine, any amino acid, tryptophan serine. The receptors for all the cytokines classified as hematopoietins belong to the class 1 cytokine receptor family which also is called the hematopoietin receptor family. The class 2 cytokine receptors possess the conserved CCCC motifs but lack the WSX WS motif present in class 1 cytokine receptors. Initially only the three interferons alpha, beta and gamma were thought to be ligands for these receptors. However, recent work have shown that the interleukin 10 receptor is also a member of this group. Another feature common to most of the hematopoietin class 1 cytokine and the class 2 cytokine receptor families is multiple subunits often including one subunit that binds specific cytokine molecules and another that mediates signal transduction. Note however that these two functions are not always confined to one subunit or the other. Engagement of all the class 1 and class 2 cytokine receptors studied to date has been shown to induce tyrosine phosphorylation of the receptor through the activity of protein tyrosine kinases closely associated with the cytosolic domain of the receptors. Medical applications of cytokines. Some cytokines have been developed into protein therapeutics using recombinant DNA technology. Recombinant cytokines being used as drugs as of 2014 include bone morphogenetic protein that is abbreviated as BMP used to treat bone related conditions. Erythropoietin abbreviated as EPO used to treat anemia. Granulocyte colony stimulating factor abbreviated as GCSF used to treat neutropenia in cancer patients. Granulocyte macrophage colony stimulating factor abbreviated as GMCSF used to treat neutropenia and fungal infections in cancer patients. Interferon alpha used to treat hepatitis C and multiple sclerosis. Interferon beta used to treat multiple sclerosis. Interleukin 2 abbreviated as IL2 used to treat cancer. Interleukin 11 abbreviated as IL11 used to treat thrombocytopenia in cancer patients. Summary. Cytokines are low molecular weight proteins that are produced and secreted by a variety of cell types. They play major roles in the induction and regulation of the cellular interactions involving cell of the immune, inflammatory and hematopoietic systems. The biological activities of cytokines exhibit pleiotropy, redundancy, synergy, antagonism and in some instances cascade induction. There are over 200 different cytokines most of which fall into one of the following families hematopoietins, interferons, chemokines and tumor necrosis factors. Cytokines act by binding to cytokine receptors most of which can be classified as immunoglobulin superfamily receptors, class 1 cytokine receptors, class 2 cytokine receptors, members of the TNF receptor family and chemokine receptors. Therapies based on cytokines and cytokine receptors have entered clinical practice. That is all about basics of cytokines. I end up my session here and I am sure all that we have discussed here will be helpful to you. Thank you so much.